I'm not sure where my love of fashion really came from. But I love fabric. I'm really passionate about print, colour and texture. First and foremost, I am a mother. Best job in the world. But my background is a creative. I love to dance. I love to travel. I love my family, my friends. And I just, I'm someone who loves life and just wants to live. I worked as a fashion designer for roughly 15 years until I was diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer in 2018. Being on chemo is life changing. You now have to reconsider your mental health, your physical health. It takes a lot of mental strength. After having enough progression, I was allowed to then enter a clinical trial as my second line of treatment. For me, being on the clinical trial, because it's more targeted treatment, it offered me a very different quality of life. On most days, I was able to get up, take my daughter to school, go to the gym. We went on an African safari. I went to the Sahara Desert for charity. I trekked through Petra. We've just made so many memories. So this was my 42nd birthday, and I wasn't expecting the surprise birthday at all. There's no way I would have been able to have done all those things whilst on chemo. So that trial afforded me a really, really beautiful year of, of living. When I started my training, pretty much only chemotherapies or radiotherapy were the treatment options for cancer patients. These treatments are untargeted. They're essentially affecting fast-growing cancer cells, but also our fast-growing tissues like mouse, hair, GI tract, and often cause collateral damage. Since the early 2000s, new understanding of genetics, biology, and particularly tumor biology, led us to develop drugs which particularly targeted cancer growth. The development of new cancer drugs is very complex. It generally takes about 10 to 15 years, cost in the range of hundreds of millions to billions of dollars. What tends to happen is that each stage of the clinical trials gets separately funded and that often causes delay in the development process. This is a process that takes a long time, but also has a high risk of failure. All in capsules, yeah. all like, like this one. The original concept of ellipses is obviously not to do any laboratory research trying to invent any more new cancer compounds. The reason for that is 20, 30,000 already in existence out there. And so the job is to get in there and filter out the best of those compounds and rapidly develop them through clinical trials in an extremely efficient way to get them out there into the communities. But our CMC manufacturing produces now the new tablets as one a day, one pill in the morning before breakfast. At Ellipsis, we have a different model of funding. We upfront fund our clinical trials to allow a seamless development process, potentially all the way through to regulatory approval. My real USP in all of this was to build a very large platform of 300 world-leading cancer experts who could help select these potential new cancer drugs and bring them into clinical trials. Our scientific advisory team helps us to find the needle in the haystack, the drug which will potentially make it through the clinical development and therefore de-risking the investment. In just four years, we've already moved our first three candidate drugs through phase one and into phase two clinical trials. We're in hundreds of patients. We're very excited with the results that we're seeing, and this is far more rapid than the industry norm. The faster we can develop these drugs in clinical trials, the faster we can help patient populations around the world. Being on a trial is not just about me, it's about helping other people in the future. Trials offer hope, trials are hope, and I hope in 20 years is that cancer will just be treated as a chronic illness that 
no one will be dying from cancer, but just living with it. I'm, I'm holding on to that hope, like really tight, really, really tight, not letting go.